Hey everyone, Meocity here. We're back playing Vampire Survivors again. Goal for today is to get, I think it's Miang, is how to say her name, um, through Mount Moonspell. And we're going to be playing her, seeing how she plays, and getting her weapon evolved. Not sure how to do that, so I hope it tells me. I don't really want to use Twilight Requiem again, but we'll see what all Arcanas say they play well with her weapon. The beginning, Twilight Requiem, Sarabande of Healing. So it looks like that's what... Oh, and we got Blood Astronomy last time, so let's read what that does. List of weapons also emit special damaging zones affected by the amount and magnet. Enemies within the magnet range take damage based on amount. That's a little frightening. So I'm going to get the Sarabande of Healing, just because I don't know how this weapon plays. Um, we're probably going to go into Twilight Requiem. And then see from there. Um, don't necessarily feel like any of those. Let's get our bracelet. Um, let's also see if this says how to upgrade our weapon. Gotcha. All right. Fires. Two more projectiles. Let's go for it. Let's go for the Duplicator and Lightning Ring. Um, duplicator, fire one more projectile. Going to be a little more concise in what we're getting this time around. Let's get the Attract Orb. Even though I know it's up there. get the empty tome reroll get that lightning ring Uh, Silver Wind, base damage, base speed up. This up, get our upgrade. Lightning Ring up. Um, let's get Silver Wind again. We'll be going to pick that upgrade up first. I'm going to be getting the Hollow Heart. Let's also get the Garlic because that upgrades with the same weapon or thing. There's our bracelet. Our lick up. Silver Wind, fire more projectiles. Let's get this really quick. I think I'm actually going to try for the whip on this and see how that does. Because then we have a lot of incoming healing.
Uh, let's get the empty tome. Let's reduce that cooldown. Don't need the Night Sword because it's up there. However, I would like to know what it upgrades with. So let's get the Silver Wind for now. Alright, um, we don't need any of those, so reroll. Reroll. Kind of wanted armor. There's last upgrade for Silver Wind. how we can do here. Um, bracelet doesn't need anything. Two weapons only need the one thing. Stand up. So let's get to Rona's box, I suppose. Is this like a little village or a hut? Huh. Okay. Let's get bracelet up. I remember these guys. Kind of a pain in the butt. Empty tome. Get this. Lightning ring out. Break slit. To move on. Lightning ring. All these projectiles kind of bombarding the these things, making it a little easier. Garlic. All right, it's like little dojo. Cool. What? What in the unholy hell? It's like a giant skeleton. Cool. What happens when I take it down? It's like going in a frenzy. Uh, da 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 da. What? Okay, so it can summon those, I'm guessing. And it's mad.
I got him. So single chest. Not horrible, but not great. Uh, I want the sand to water, but not right now, so let's banish the shadow pinion for now. Alright, we want the whip. So we want that health regain. want the other whip, so that leads to more health regain. I can't remember which one of these is which, so I'm heading up. Right, we're going to get the bracelet for now. So that's one of the rare things to upgrade. They got the Oni? No, it wasn't anything. Alright. Looks like we have to find a way up the cliff. I want this thing, because I'm not sure if this is the health one or not. Probably make a note of it after this. Like a little bamboo shrine. <laughs> Healing kills things, that's kind of cool. Alright, let's make use of this while we can. Alright, let's get Lightning Ring. Kind of showing us the path, that's nice. And there's orbs and such up there. All right. Probably not going to be taking Mad Groove, so I got to walk around and get the stuff. Just an absurd amount of healing. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Buy bracelet. He looks different. Let's take him out. Got a triple. Well, all good stuff. Um, let's get the buy bracelet up, because that does a lot of damage. Like, this is right over here. Get the vento up, because we're going to need that while we can. Corona's box for damage by bracelet. Oh, we didn't see Kappa's last time, and it's another one of these. Okay. Lightning ring up. Interesting that they're Kappas. I think there's just different things in every area. Bye, Bracelet. Get 
this. Um, don't want slash quite yet, although that says it works with the upgraded sword. Waltz of Pearls. Jail of Crystal. Twilight Requiem. So that works with the Lightning Loop. And... Alright. Let's see how this goes for me. Jeez. There's a whip upgrade. Like I have to go into some sort of cave right now. Alright, garlic. Not too interested in the candelabra this time around, so we'll skip that once I look up here. Alright. See if these drop anything for me. Nope. Alright, just funsies. I think they're just bears, but he's a big one. He'll probably drop something. Whip up. Looks like we got to continue this way. This is just taking us back down. This golden egg we missed. Let's go back and get it quick. Alright, um, let's get the garlic for now. Get our whip. Ooh, lightning ring. We have the right shroud part, so we're not going to pick up the other shroud. Buy bracelet. Garlic maxed. Get our health regain up. Armor. Health regain. And let's get this little guy. See what we get from him. If we can get him without pushing him too far back. A little ridiculous. Up there, alright. Nothing we need so far. Here's a lovely triple. And we got Soul Eater. Wonder why we got that instead of the upgraded uh, weapon that we started with. Is 
uh, figure something out there. And the gold thing I want is in there. There's the lightning ring. Corona's box. And there's gold fever. Alright, let's get Amora up just in case. There's Thunder Loop. I wonder if there's anything by the sword. Got another one down. Get our health regain up. And he's almost down, I think. There we go. So, did Evolve Silver Wind weakens enemies' defensive? I wonder if we had to get the um, side thing up all the way, too, for that. Because we got it right after that. Just what I uh, observed, but probably not it. By bracelet. And it looks like we need to go back down and around. Still want to kind of experiment with that knight sword. Not that I'm gonna evolve it again, but I can hope. Watch, it's gonna be something stupid to evolve it, like the uh, Shroud or something like that. Oh, that's cave. I think I've been in that. Bolt Fever. Not that I'm gonna get too much out of it, but it's something. They're really not putting up too much of a fight. I whip. Probably have to go all the way up is my guess. This is like an absurdly large level. There's all the Oni. And Night Sword. Oh wow.
I'm kind of surprised I'm not dying here. But with all the health regen I have, I guess. Alright, let's get Megalo left, just cause healing at this point. Get him, because he's kind of following us. And try brace them. Anything in here? Or is this just like... A secret mass area of things. Alright. Didn't mean to pick that up, but... What is going on in here? Um, we'll get the whip. Another one down. Wonder if there's a secret for getting, like, all of them in one. This is just a absolute horde of things I did not expect in here that I did not find last time either. That also really cannot put up a fight. Um, we'll get the whip. Just trying to get that health regain. This is a little fire pit that they, uh... Didn't really put out. Alright, let's see. Whip. One more whip level and I can evolve it. Reroll, reroll. Guess we'll get the Knight Sword. So there's a chest right there. And if I can get my whip, I can just uh, start doing stuff. Attract Orb. I'm kind of keeping up with health regain as is. I attract orb. Kind of curious what the heck is going on in here. Uh, Tarona's box. Hit harder. Maybe take him out faster. The other whip, so we can evolve that when we get there. The randomazo. There's one other I was thinking about the get getting. I think it was. It wasn't any of those. What happens if I just hit skip? Night sword. Like, do I get another chance at a randomazo later? Try bracelet. It's getting a little ridiculous. Just give me my whip. <laughs> Try bracelet. It, I'm keeping up with the health, which is kind of funny given the situation. 
Uh, Tarona's box. Oh, didn't mean to pick it up, but there we go. Oh, I didn't realize it was already leveled. I guess I'm, uh... That's on me. Go to the other chest here. Dry bracelet. Box. Dry bracelet. Other whip needs a few levels here, but let's go Night Sword. Let's see what we can get here, because I think we've hit our goals again. Get this whip. There's a chest down here. Get health regain. All apart. There's a Rochi. down to that other chest if we can. It came out. Armor. My bracelet shroud and right, still not what we need. Still needs one level. Trying to get it, but we'll see what happens. Um, Night Sword. Looks like I won't be getting another random Ozzo for skipping. Good to know, because I've never done that before. There's that. I should be able to evolve it now.
see if we can take out that ghosty. Night sword. There's this. I'm not sure why it flew at me, but whatever. Box. Night sword. This box. Night sword. I think that's fully leveled or one away now. Yeah, it's fully leveled, so we'll go to Rona's box. Handle. Get the area up now. Get the area up with Silver Ring. And just do what we can. So we don't really need the damage down at this point. We have enough health for gain. <laughs> Health regain turns into damage, so I suppose that's a thing. Again, get this hit across the map. There's death. Doubt we can do anything to him, but let's find out. Right, we got Silver Wind, we got Menia, and that's basically what we were there for. Fun stuff. Now, uh, we'll unlock Four Seasons by 15 minutes with Menia, and evolve Four Seasons to get Siuto. So we'll have to figure out how to do that next time. Then it looks like it just keeps going from there. Survive 15 minutes with Siuto. I'm guessing he has some at night that unlocks Baba Ona, or Babi Ona. Then you won't survive with Babi Ona for 15 minutes. To unlock her weapon, evolve the Mirage Robe to unlock him, survive for 15 minutes with to unlock his 108 Bulky. I've actually done this before, so I'm surprised it didn't um, keep it, but I guess we'll have to do this again. Oh, I, I guess it wasn't with uh, that character. And then we'll have to do this with Stuto, and I guess that's what the Kappa was for. So maybe we'll just go to the Kappa area. And just quickly looking through these challenges. Is that really it? Alright. Just doesn't go on any further. Um, that's all it's going to tell me about. So, for now, that's what we know about. So we'll unlock Menia really quickly. Wow, he's expensive. Comes stronger and invis... Inv 
become stronger and invincible for a fixed interval after defeating a large amount of enemies. That's interesting. So we'll be playing with him next time and seeing what we can do. So look forward to that. And I'm kind of interested to see how we can do 100,000 enemies with him. So I'll have to think about that. Um, probably throwing on as much curse as we can. And doing a lot of AoE. And I'm not entirely sure how his weapon works. But... That'll be it for this time. Um, I'll have to do a little bit of research for next time. I'll be looking forward to unlocking more characters, seeing more areas, and seeing if there's anything more that becomes unlockable. Because this is a really interesting expansion, and I'm kind of hoping there's more than just the one area of Mount Moon spell. But maybe not. Um, and if not, it was entirely worth the, I think, one whole dollar I paid for it. So, with that being said... I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and have a good one.